All right, it's Friday, May 15th, 2009. I'm Steve, how's it going? It was beautiful outside in New York today. Not that I really got to see any of it. I was in this room for the whole day. Um, but it's beautiful outside and <laughs> that's it. Apparently the rest of the weekend is gonna be rainy and I think some thunderstorms. <laughs> oh, New York, you fickle mistress. I love the rain, but you know, Jesus, it's, let's, Let's lock up some of the sun for a little while, just longer than two days in a row. Okay, New York? Okay. Our friend Nikki is taking off to Austin, Texas. She's moving out of the city. She went out for South by Southwest and came back and said, guess what? I'm moving. So tomorrow night, we're going to be going to her going away party. Looking forward to that, but not looking forward to saying goodbye to Nikki. If you want to follow her on Twitter, there is her Twitter handle. Saw the movie Anvil, the story of Anvil, and this is one of those art house movie documentaries that it's going to be going to certain cities at certain times. If you want to check out their site, it's anvilmovie.com to see if it's coming to your city. You should go see the movie. I promise you. If you don't like it, I'll come and give your dog a back massage. Just go see the movie, because it's amazing. It is the story of a Canadian heavy metal band that started in 1973 and their musical contemporaries were Metallica and then uh, Bon Jovi and a lot of other like kind of hair metal bands and all those other bands they did pretty well. Anvil never gave up and they still freaking rock out with the cocks out but they never made any money so it's a really really intense moving and super funny look into the drive that people are uh, born or afflicted with that makes them want to do things like that. I'm familiar with this type of affliction. Um, but even if you're not, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's like you cry, you laugh. If you don't see it in theaters, Netflix that thing, rent that thing. You will love it, I promise you. Uh, my last video, I talked about my shock and amazement that I'd gained 20 pounds since moving to New York two years ago. I'm not saying I'm a total fat ass by any means. I'm just uh, kind of announcing it to the world so that I keep my promise to myself and get rid of the extra pounds as soon as possible. I've gotten rid of five pounds since Monday, which is when I started. It's one quarter of it out of the way. Like a friend of mine said, it's probably all poop and water weight. So I'm not getting my hopes up. I really need to start running and going to the gym and really just throttling that. Today's weight is 174 even. That's right folks. Also what's going on, the Lost finale was this week and I'll be honest man, that thing has taken so many twists and so many turns and I can't figure out what any frigging character is about anymore. Except for Sawyer seems about like the only guy who seems like the same guy he was as when the show started. Jack has turned into this. He drove the plot along in the first few years and then he was really quiet this part of the season and then he just shows up and wants to blow up the fucking island. I don't know. I'm gonna watch the last two hours again but I'm starting to feel a little bit of plot whiplash. I like this whole good and evil and the battle of Jacob and the devil or whatever the hell is going on but um, I don't know. I'm just not like, I don't know if I, I'm feeling it as much. We'll see. That's my life in a nutshell, and I hope you have a great weekend.